Hi there, my name is DK and welcome to this uh, troubleshooting tutorial for Cubase Pro. So what do you do when you have installed Cubase but you can't find your, your plugins? So you have installed your Cubase and you have also installed your, your plugins. Could be effects, could be uh, VST instruments, but you cannot find them. Right, so uh, you should click on this work zone here and then your plugins are supposed to show up here under the media tab. Right, uh, they're supposed, uh, supposed to show here on, on the right side right so if you cannot see anything here uh, then that means you should go to uh, studio and then uh, you can go to VST plugin manager uh, so the plugin manager is going to show you a list of all your VST effects and all your VST instruments that are installed to be used in your Cubase right so uh, these are the instruments that are installed in my system right and then there's also a block list right that means uh, this is where you find uh, plugins that have been blocked from um, opening in, in, in Cubase Pro. Plugins that, that will not work in Cubase Pro. You find them under the, the block list uh, here, right? So, uh, also, you must note that 32 bit plugins are no longer supported. So, this is the main reason why you will not see many of your plugins in Cubase Pro because some of the plugins that you'll be using will be 32 bit, and Cubase Pro uh, does not um, uh, accept. Or work with all the plugins for of, of 32 bit version right so um so what what if you have installed your plugin maybe it's a 32 bit plugin but you still want to use it right so there's a way that you can go around it right so if your plugin is blocked or if you can't find your plugin here there's something that you can always do in order to make sure that uh you can still use your favorite uh plugins if they're if they're usable because some even if you try this trick it will not work Right, so uh, what you do is you go to um, to your folder, you go to your hard drive, right? So you go to your local disk, and then you go to your program files, right? So when you install uh, some 32-bit plugins, most of your plugins will be located in the VST plugins folder, right? There's normally a VST plugins folder where all your pl uh, plugins will go right so if you open that VST folder you see some of your plugins or most of your plugins right so you can always uh, copy all the DLL files of the plugins that you want to use in Cubase Pro right so you can just highlight the plugins that you want to copy and then you can click uh, copy for example uh, when you click copy uh, you need to um, go to um, uh, program files and then now you should look for Steinberg, right? Let's look for Steinberg, and then um, this is Cubase 11, right? For uh, for some, you can look for Cubase 12. Those who are using Cubase 12, right? So uh, after you go to the Cubase folder, you can go to the one that says VST plugins, uh, and then you can simply paste the plugins that you want to use. Uh, into this uh, folder one written VST plugins right when you close the folder and when you come to your Cubase uh, they will probably show here for example this is what I did for my uh, Poly 6 from uh, these legacy um, plugins that I love so much uh, expand this is what I did as well for the expand plugin uh, this is what I also did for wave station and and some of the other plugins all right so this can uh, solve the problem of you not being able to use your plugins or the problem of your plugins not showing in in cubase uh cubase pro right any questions you can just ask on the uh, on the comments below please like and subscribe thank you